Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing what ChatGPT is and how can it be utilized by any corporate employee. We'll also see how can a Salesforce developer utilize this chatbot for his day-to-day -day routine. So ChatGPT has been the talk of the town for nearly a month now. It has created a lot of buzz that it will be taking up jobs or assisting developers. But let's see how it will impact lives of Salesforce developer. So, basically, ChatGPT is a chatbot created by OpenAI, uh, which you can access on chat.openai.com slash chat. So, it is nothing but a variant of GPT, Generative Pre-Training Transformer. So it is an online chatbot which scrapes the internet and finds you best answer for your queries. So when we type what is OpenAI ChatGPT, it has come up with a description of itself. That it is a language model developed by chat, uh, developed by OpenAI. So I so we have a brief understanding of what uh, ChatGPT is. Let's go on and see how can a normal corporate employee utilize this tool or the chatbot. Suppose I have to write an email. Inform my team that I won't be available. In the office for next two days. Will it write an email for us? For sure. So see, it has already uh, started working on it. Out of office, your name, hi team. So you can see the chatbot is coming up with the results. And we can see now we have a generic email template, which just, just needs minor uh, editing. And we are ready to go. Good job, GPT. Like, I am very much impressed by this tool for now. Let's go ahead with some Salesforce queries to see if it is helpful for Salesforce developers or not. So, I'm assuming it can write me some Apex code. So, I'm giving it a scenario. Let's see if it works as expected. As soon as I have typed, it is coming up with code. That's that's something pretty inter uh, interesting. Let's see what it comes up with. <clears throat> so here I wanted to send an email alert whenever industry field on account is changed. Let's see what it is coming up with. We can check. It has created a class industry change alert. It has created a method which accepts list of accounts industry old it is taking some custom field which is it is comparing with but in our understanding we were not expecting this we were expecting something called that a trigger will handle it but okay it's using creator custom field on the account object to store previous values of the industry field you can then call this method in a trigger to send an email okay my expectations were to use the exact industry field which we would have uh, utilized also it is using before update we would have uh, the context i think it's not uh, the as per the expectations let's see the code now so it has created a class it has created a method which accepts accounts so here it is checking if industry is not equals to industry old so this is not the way we were expecting it to work we were expecting that the value has been changed and in uh, in the trigger we will have the trigger dot old value from there we could have uh, utilized it but okay 
still we have a method created to send an email that is somewhat acceptable but yeah not fully up to the mark but yeah uh, i think this uh, somewhat editing here and there can help us to reach our our expectations so this is not as per the expectations but let's see uh, i think we should go give it a uh, one more try let's jump in with another query uh, write an epic trigger to update name field of all related contacts whenever so here i'm expecting that whenever my account account's name is changed we will fetch all the related contacts to that account and then we will update the name of the uh, contacts with the same name it has started writing codes for us let's see uh, what it comes up with and then we can review it and if it is working as expected trigger okay for account dot trigger before update to use this trigger you would need to create name old on the account object to store the previous value of name view and account record is appear trigger will be given okay so we don't need it we can directly use a uh, trigger dot old map dot get account dot id it would have worked for our expectations but it is using a custom field which is not needed here again another thing is that it is using a soql query inside a for loop which is not as per the salesforce uh, best practices so this is not done even the context uh, event it is using before but it should be after because we are utilizing uh, we are updating the contacts here not the account so usually before event is utilized whenever you want to update fields on same object and after event is utilized whenever field update is done on related or other object here we are doing it on a related object so it should have uh, it should be after update but so after utilizing it for two queries of salesforce i believe that it is not matured enough to handle all the queries yeah if you have understanding of uh, salesforce you can ask it to write your code and you can you uh, do some editing here and there and utilize it for your own purpose but yeah this is not completely this cannot completely replace a developer so after reviewing the code we had uh, we are able to find some errors like sql query inside the for loop uh, contacts trigger contacts or uh, contacts or events not utilized properly so now the biggest buzz in the market is will chat gpt kill jobs for salesforce developers i still believe you are safe because it's not matured enough to handle all the queries properly we have uh, utilized two queries here and it failed for both of them but let's ask the chatbot itself will chat gpt kill jobs of junior developers so it is coming up like it is possible that the use of language models could automate some task leading to job displacements in some cases but it is not a replacement for human developers and are not capable of doing all the tasks that a developer can do so yeah briefly even i believe that uh, this tool will assist developers around the globe to come up with a solution but right now it is not matured enough to kill any jobs in the market uh i think this was all i may come up with a next video where i will integrate chat gpt in a lightning web component 
but till then subscribe to my youtube channel like this video and share it to your fellow developers who believe chat gpt can kill jobs